behalf of my mother, uh, Jacqueline Devine, my sister, Rosalind, I'd just like to thank John Howard and Keith Winshaw um, for launching my father's book. Um, and thank you all for, um, for coming here tonight and coming to this party. My father would have loved it, um, as he would have loved uh, this book. Um, we're lucky that he was a writer and a good writer because uh, he really does live on in his words. We can, um, he comes to life in this book. Um, we can hear his voice and laugh at his humour and be moved by his insights. One of our favourite essays is Popping 50 Corks, the last essay in the book, and it was written um, at about the time of my parents' 50th wedding anniversary in April this year. Um, it's a warts and all treatment of their very happy marriage, um, in which he describes them as two battling control freaks. <laughs> and he ends on a characteristically optimistic note, which I'll just uh, read. As a 50-year veteran of marriage, I find great pleasure in watching youngish couples in marriages that have the spark respond to each other after short separations, getting back from soccer practice, for instance, or after foraging at opposite ends of the wall. Their faces light up and their movements almost imperceptib imperceptibly quicken. A special vitality is restored by their coming together. Sometimes I have to make an effort to restrain myself from telling them, with luck, it will get even better. <laughs> My father was a literary journalist, and his essays contain gems of observation and character. He saw a story in everything, even when he was, um, a few weeks before he died, when he was in the Greenwich Palliative Care Unit, he, um, he found out that his doctor was the son of a former Afghan president, and that his nurse had escaped from Zimbabwe with her grandchildren. He was very excited by his conversations with them, and he said he just wished he had a bit more time so that he could write a book about all the wonderful people he'd met there. Um, he had only two regrets. That he didn't get to see the ashes and that he didn't get to hold this book in his hands. But he would have been so thrilled to see it. And thank you again for coming and, um, and buy lots of books for Christmas because there's nothing my father would have loved better than having a best seller. <laughs>